Hello friends, I am Ritu Kohli, principal of Aisha School Faridabad and I am connecting with you through the medium of NTAP. Nimisha has been very, very kind to give me this platform to share with you my observations of what is happening nowadays and talk to you all on the topic of transition to distance learning. Now this distant learning thing, you know, which is coming and we were talking of education uh, technology for quite a few years now. But I think suddenly due to this coronavirus, we have been sunk into a snare kind of a thing and uh, you know, you have to find your way. And though I think all of us were pretty perturbed for some time, uh, soon I think we all sailed through it and uh, everybody started finding a new excitement, a new energy uh, in doing things. And still I feel, you know, some of us are of the view or are living under this kind of an illusion that, uh, you know, once this crisis is over, things would be fine. And again, we will get back to our conventional teaching. This is never going to happen. So in the first place, I think we need to accept to the fact that this is there to stay. The corona may be over, but for one or the other, uh, good evening, everybody, whoever is saying uh, good evening, hello, everybody. So we come back to this acceptance of, you know, kind of uh, knowing that, well, we are into a totally, totally new chain, new area, new field of distance learning. It is there forever now. And therefore, the better we prepare ourselves, the better it will be for us as teachers, as parents, as students. The first thing that I think we need to understand as uh, leaders or uh, as the deliverers of this format is to understand that our audience, you know, uh, over the past uh, you know month or two, I have been observing that people are into a kind of a competition, you know. So they are trying out every platform and they are loading children with a lot of worksheets and this and that, but then they're not even knowing whether the child is technology friendly, uh, is the family kind of convenient with it, what kind of a platform will be suitable, what kind of a data coverage can they afford. So, I mean, it is, uh, are they connected? How many children will be using, how many people will be using, you know, using well, the gadget? So, all those things, I think, are to be surveyed, at least maybe now that we jumped into it and we did not have time. We have been trying to do it by and by, and I would uh, request all people to keep on talking to the students, whether they are comfortable with whatever we are doing. Then we come to the deliverables. What is the platform that you know we, we would uh, want to choose? We have been trying a lot of things, and uh, you know I am connected with other school principals and you know, my own organization has other two schools and everybody is using a different medium, but then we were really going to berserk, you know. Uh, somebody's trying Zoom, somebody's trying micro team, somebody, uh, Microsoft team, somebody is doing some WebEx, somebody is doing Blue Jeans. I know uh, there's a whole lot of, you know, kind of things available. And there is, you know, kind of one idea or the other popping up every time you do this, you do this, you do this. So we have to understand now if this is our audience, then we have to deliver on a particular platform because every platform will have, will have its own strengths and weaknesses. Uh, we were wanting to go in for a particular, you know, kind of platform, which maybe visuals and all were very, very clear, very nice, but then the data consumption was so high and maybe unaffordable for, uh, by the parents. So we switched back to, to the existing uh, platform of Zoom. There was a lot of talk about, uh, you know, the security hazards with, uh, with Zoom. There was all, uh, you know, this thing in the, in the news and parents were worried. 
so we had to explore that area of security also that uh, are the parents you know their data is secure their bank uh, accounts are secure and all that so it has been a learning you know that well it is it is the person who is hosting the meeting is uh, uh, it is his you know kind of stake and then we have to give clear instructions you know, both to the teachers as to what what should be the steps they, they should take this is what is important this is what you do this is how you open this is how you log in or you know this is the uh, this is how you take in the invitation this is how you use the password we are uh, you know telling the parents also that please don't use the device with the children so i mean we should give crystal clear you know kind of instructions both to the students and parents on one side and to the teachers on the other side so that everybody is comfortable and everything is secure and tight next we come once all this is done and there is no mismatch and there is no clash and there is no confusion we know that this is going to stay and therefore it is not a not a play or a game for a few days we have to deliver the whole lot of syllabus to it and therefore a lot of planning has to be done what quantity what uh, quantum of syllabus will be done over a month's time over a week's time every day and the planning has to be done uh, as to what all things will be added on normally in a school scenario when we plan the lessons it is not done on an individual basis we have the whole faculty together so you know it is so many people uh, who will um, uh, you know kind of contribute to the richness of the lesson somebody will suggest a, a demonstration somebody will suggest an experiment somebody will suggest some data some linkages some you know kind of um, pictures some clipping so if you have to do it single handed you know any teacher it becomes too much of a work i think therefore i would uh, you know kind of say that you know, we should collaborate over here and if uh, some teacher or there is coordinating if they can have a kind of a faculty meeting and then it is decided you find this you find this and then we have a systematic rich content and you know kind of a demonstration of whatever we have to deliver so that is how we should go about so that nobody feels burdened you know everything i have to do everything i have to do so we can we can partake of uh, all those things then we uh, we coming to another very very important area uh, when we are talking about uh, you know these lessons i've been observing a few uh, lessons of my own school and of other schools as well uh, you know children are asking some questions they have doubts but then we have limited time and we're just rushing out of the out of the meeting room and the children are uh, you know kind of left high and dry this is one area i think we all need to understand how uh, you know we are going to address this so we have to build special question hours we have to have discussion sessions and the you know kind of assignments etc that we are giving to the children uh should be you know kind of monitored in a way that we are also checking it and we are giving the right feedback to the children whether they are understanding they are not understanding a uh, lot of people saying uh, good evening and hi ma'am and uh, if i start uh, you know kind of reading out the names it will be too much but uh, anyway thank you very much for connecting all of you right uh one important thing and which is a little worrisome for me is that you know when we go to a classroom uh, what is more important in a lesson who do you think is a favorite teacher you know so for the children to fall in love with the subject it's important that they fall in love with the teacher first it's an emotional con uh, you know kind of connect and this emotional connect is the backbone of the effectiveness of any lesson this is something i think we really need to uh, build uh, yet 
of course i would say that the teachers have become very conscious they know they are in the public view they cannot use any derogatory language uh, you know kind of uh, with uh, with any uh, child they cannot be abusive they cannot be hard so that beta bachche everything carries on but still there is something that is mi- missing and that is that individual attention that is that empathy with with the with the with every student of your class and maybe it is not that anybody is doing it on intention it is just that we are into a new domain and therefore uh, we really uh, are in a haste to cover the content so please you teach the subject very good but you are teaching the children please that is more important than the subject of the content so please see that this is taken care of because when we are meeting the children uh the teachers glance the teachers hug the teachers smile the teachers pat you know all all that is very very uh, integral to any lesson delivery and here we are not getting an opportunity to do this so how do we make up for this this is very very important and for that i would suggest that you know so many times that all the questions don't get answered and uh, you cannot uh, exceed the time so what uh, what perhaps you can use a kind of a mixed uh, medium maybe you have an uh, whatsapp group then you have individual doubt clearing uh, you know kind of session with the uh, children they can post their doubts to you so uh, they are also trying to you know get the hang of the whole thing we also have to understand that in the present scenario especially of course distance learning by itself is a very very important thing and we have been trying things like flip classes and all where children become more you know kind of aware of the topic uh, before the teacher really launches that so this is another thing you know which we must uh, encourage among children please tell share with them this is what i am going to do tomorrow i would expect you to go through the lesson you can uh, you know video crop your own lesson and send it to them so that the children are also aware and know something about the topic that you are going to discuss so that will be a help uh, for you to uh, what should i say save your time when you are delivering the lesson and with the children also please uh, keep on uh, understanding keep asking them how are they what are they doing you know this is important uh, important for them because children may not express but they are also very very anxious they are very stressed out they don't know why they are you know kind of caught in this kind of a scenario uh, especially the small children when are they going to go out and play when are they going to meet friends when are they going to be with their teachers when the school is going to reopen so i mean we need to uh, you know understand all those things and why we are delivering our uh, you know kind of lessons please look at this uh, you know kind of emotional side of the Uh, children as well another uh, thing uh, how i feel that it is uh, you know kind of deviated not in a very positive way especially because we were not prepared is the experiential part of learning you know when we were uh, doing our lessons in the school we were very very particular that uh, we give some experiential uh, homework we do a lot of experiential activities Uh, pertaining to every uh, topic in the school itself you know i i can recall a lot of interesting activities of how you know children would take out sounds of different animals how they would follow the sun shadow every day and see how every day at a different time it is at a different angle so all those things now how can we do it how are we going to get the parents to do it at home how are we going to excite the children to try out those things and they have a lot of experiences at home so we must provide for this what i have been observing is that you know when when the teachers are uh, you know giving the assignment is another link so the children are just glued first they attend your lesson and then they for their assignments also again they are with the gadget again you know they are sitting with uh, with either a phone or a laptop or computer or something so 
So there is this flaw which we need to, I think, rectify a little if possible. We just need to think about our lessons. We need to visualize what what is the uh, life of the of my student right now. What kind of a home scenario it is. What time are they getting? Uh, what are they? They must be eating. How are they spending their time? What is there around them? So, what best can we do to give them healthy experiences uh, over here? This is very very uh, important because you know just moving on from one gadget to another throughout the day in the name of learning. And I have uh, you know kind of got information from parents. The lesson is over. The ch ch children are into chatting with their friends, and they keep telling the parents, "We have to lesson karne." So that that is not on. They are into fooling a lot. Of parents are getting fooled also by this. So the whole day, uh, you know, the children and you know this is very very addictive. We know. In fact, um, even before this kind of a crisis, we were uh, you know into discussion with parents. how to wean the children away from so much of tv viewing and you know kind of gadget watching and all but again uh, you know kind of i don't know how uh, we have gotten to it and we are not being able to check so my request to the parents is be a little more watchful of what your children are watching you know this this thing is looming large you know this danger we are getting of course this is all very good that we can connect to more people uh, it it is exciting and it is you know kind of age friendly children were always uh, you know very happy with the gadgets and whenever we would say okay, okay let's go to the computer class or let us do this on the on the computers you know they were always very uh, enthusiastic about it so this is their their mode of learning that is accepted but then it should not you know kind of uh, lead to another kind of a uh, you know what should i say lifestyle problem and this gadget gluing can lead to bad health so there as educational leaders i think we need to be very very careful if we can also design you know some kind of a healthy uh, you know kind of uh, habit of a physical fitness or some kind of an exercise and that should also be there so distant learning fine they are also in a comfortable place and while delivering we are also in a comfortable place and everybody seems to be pretty okay and uh, but then over doing a thing or doing it shabbily or doing it just for the heck of it because you know the competition calls for it uh i think that is these are the areas that uh, you know we need to uh be avoiding and uh, we need to be using all these people the campus care people have been very very kind and they are also promoting a lot of uh, you know kind of options they are giving to us to connect with the people and uh, i'm so very grateful to them that they have uh, allowed us to you know kind of uh, connect any other question you that you would like to ask you most free to ask hi yogesh good evening anisha krishna sarita khushi now i can read all your names right so anything uh, that you would like to type out i would be glad to answer Shalini Amandi, good evening to you too. So, the one interesting thing, of course, while well, uh, things are some thought or the other will keep on dropping, is uh, for teachers, you know, is that this is not an area where you know you do a degree once and you forget, or it is there forever in your mind, you know. so shakespeare wrote so many sonnets and this is what uh, uh, hamlet said then there or these are the historical facts and that is what is stored in our brains forever or a scientific fact this is one area one medium of instruction which is ever 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 changing and therefore i think there is the change is the only constant as it is 
And here we need to keep updating our skills. What are the new tools? What are the new platforms? What are the new devices? So please keep on doing that. You know, we cannot rest. So the speed of, uh, you know, kind of change has increased. You know, the accelerated, the accelerated mode of change. And we all need to somehow push ourselves to change with the times. Right. <clears throat> okay, Nikhil Chopraji, we will definitely look into your counseling sometime. Yeah, we there are aerobic classes, there are you know yoga classes, there is meditation, there is counseling. So all these things should be mix and match. In fact, I uh, would suggest that even the lessons, you know, like in our school, what we are doing is, at least till the primary, the scholastic and the post-scholastic areas are being merged. Say, if the child is doing the, the skeleton in, in, in the bio class or the science class, we would be attaching it to the dance class, where they could be doing the joints and the bones, etc. So the same kind of a coordination, I think, we can do the merge the scholastic and the post-scholastic. So it just needs maybe uh, we were caught unaware, but it just needs a little more uh, coordination. And I'm sure we can do it even in this distant learning mode. After the, uh, I would like to address Aryan uh, Bateja that uh, um, for a, from a teacher's perspective, what do you think uh, about the impacts on students of all different, uh, I think the children will come out uh, bitters. They have gotten already into a self-learning mode, which we people do not trust, you know. Yesterday, uh, the um, uh, education minister was addressing, and across the country, we could see that you know people were saying coaching classes band ho gaya hai, abo, uh, mere paas pura teaching material nahi hai. And then there were answers from within the students that they have, uh, you know, kind of gone to the sites like Diksha and Swayam and so many other sites. And self learning is heavy now, and the children will take the onus of responsibility. <clears throat> I understand, uh, Mr. Uh, Lakhavati. Um, this is what I was telling. You see, we are trying to, <clears throat> you know, the teachers are engaged right from morning till evening uh, to address this issue of clashes. Uh, that, you know, there are uh, too many um, children and, uh, or people using, you know, the parents are also using the same gadget for their uh, work, or work from home and all. We are trying to avoid the clashes, <clears throat> but there are other parents who say that the number of lessons are less, so we are trying to, you know, satisfy everybody. Yeah, we will be having online exams as far as the school is concerned, but for the boards, uh, maybe, you know, for certain classes, they've already said that on the basis of internal exams or internal assessments or the if they have a semester system, uh, they will be promoted, uh, taking some kind of an average. But over here, yes, we will get into, right now, we, there, when a chunk of uh, a syllabus is completed, I think all schools will <clears throat> move on to assessing online. The school exams, I did not get your question, school exams, uh rt hoja i am very glad you brought up this uh, issue of Za uh, zoom right the app of zoom uh, we have spent nearly 15 days you know kind of exploring you name uh, you know a platform we have done every damn thing from namaste to blue jeans to lark to you know god knows what all but everywhere, once you are online, I think the security issue will always be there. You just have to be very, very careful. You have to be careful. And the parents are just invited to the classroom. You don't even have to log in. So there is no, uh, no security hazard now. 
also zoom itself has updated uh, you know its systems and uh, we don't see that there is any uh, such thing but we are still on the uh, you can say search and if the parents have any suggestions we will be most happy to get i can understand nikhil ji i can understand the tragedy of the child um what i can suggest is please um, uh, tell me i mean if it is my uh, student or uh, whoever wherever the child is studying get in touch with the teacher get him to at least you know kind of talk to the teacher connect with the uh, with the other class fellows maybe talk to the you know kind of uh, it's it's sad of course it is sad i mean that big thing of you know meeting friends teasing teachers you know making excuses for not getting um, their work to school or something it's all that fun that the children are missing i can understand that uh webex meeting app we had tried to uh, uh, sneha sneha right but uh, that is the the data consumption is very high because of which i think we moved back to zoom yeah yeah kids eyes will be affected that is what i said that please give them some eyes exercises don't let them be lazy make a kind of a routine so we have to cope up and i am not saying that we are moving on to distant learning forever there will be portions which you know uh, wherever there is this kind of a thing uh, happening you know now we are talking of uh, covid 19 we had to close the school because of the smog there could be one threat or the other you know and uh, uh, no the uh, i don't think the privacy is compromised we have studied these issues pretty deeply skype yeah we will we will see if skype works i think skype also teachers must have tried i'll let you know what were the uh, you know problems with skype Cisco Webex we have tried Cisco Webex I I told you that we have tried about 12 things and it's just because everybody was you know kind of zoom and I have connected with uh, some principals from Mumbai from Pune from Delhi and people who moved away from zoom have come back to zoom so that is why we thought let us stick to this at least for for a while till we are really sure that we are moving on to a no uh, in a better uh, thing yeah children i think we would we would make up for all the sports and the co curriculars that the children are you know kind of missing out and uh, we will definitely you know how at least in our school these things are very very important and uh, one thing that we can i can suggest is that of course the children may not be into uh, you know um, proper sports like they are not playing football they are not swimming they are not uh, skating but physical fitness is one thing you don't have to compromise on so they can do their you know workouts at home they can exercise they can do you know kind of spot jogging or something so that the stamina and fitness is maintained we microsoft team is being used by another uh, you know kind of uh, school of uh, of aisha and there also there are issues and therefore we stuck to this thank you for the suggestions i what all you are suggesting uh, my teachers are also watching and i don't think we have missed out on any of these uh, okay planning as i told you yeah uh, i think when we plan we should share with the uh, uh, with the parents bandwidth is one thing uh 
yoga classes are happening i think there are some aerobic classes that were you know kind of being held um, on the on the school uh, site itself and then there were uh, there were there have been dance classes there have been music classes so um, samina had something to say it has moved up NTSC examination has so far been postponed and the new date has not come up sir yeah thank you for your compliment priyanka ji uh gagan ji is uh, saying ma'am when are the exams supposed to happen and how which exams you have not referred to if it is the board exams uh let's see so far the date hasn't come i think as soon as the lockdown will be over so somewhere uh, within that one week the iit exams and the neat exams have already been announced i think neat is on 26th of july and between 18th and 23rd of july we'll be having the engineering iit j j e e the school opening in july if i was to be given a chance i would open it today uh, my only this thing is now how we will open most uh, likely in july but then i think the whole scenario is going to change i mean this social distancing thing has to be maintained for maybe another 8 months or a year or something and small children you know however much you tell them they'll go touch things then we have to see whether we will run the school in shifts whether we will have alternate uh, classes you know or alternate sections on a day so that children uh, will be um, we, we will not be able to accommodate more than 15 children in a in a classroom uh, uh will the board of class of postpone or should we choose boards of class 12th next year if you are saying there are a few exams of 12th still left but if you are asking the next year uh, they will reduce the syllabus in most likelihood so far there is nothing clear summer vacations let's see whatever we were to complete till may i think we would complete uh, that and then only move on to the vacation can storytelling be i think we are doing a lot of storytelling already um june i don't think though there was earlier in delhi uh, you know the children were given this um, uh, message that they, they they should not move out so there was a likelihood of schools opening in june and completing the syllabus but right now i don't see any um all right anjali ji i have noticed uh, your uh, observation uh, let's see how we can do it on, in the pdf mode and send it to you thank you everybody miss you kindly try to share the next class to you okay good evening number of science and sst classes instead of art and all is this our board class this time class 10 let me re look into it again you know somebody had pointed with the clashes of gadgets at home so we are trying to balance the thing but we'll definitely complete the entire syllabus and in good time hi vidushi <laughs> ashima i wish we could open the school tomorrow yes 
I think class 10th and 12th, there is definitely, uh, you know, kind of more focus into academics and a lot of testing and assessment will be added uh, shortly so that the children are well prepared. Uttsav, uh, this is your answer. Good evening, uh, Driti. Good evening. For the emotional development, children, are, I think uh, this is the high time that uh, emotional development should be uh, should be looked into. All the mothers, all the fathers, all the grandparents. Be of course you are busy doing all your own chores, but also please connect more with the children. And this is this is one time where you can do a lot of uh, habit formation. You know, especially in the junior school, we say habits made now are made forever and it is very difficult to undo a bad habit so abhi unko habit daliye reading ki aap apne sath bitha ke unki kuch koi story books padhao koi kuch karo unke sath koi art work kariye koi cooking kariye unko responsibility banao when we talk of the home visits also there is one segment we will say does the child have any responsibility at home so please make the more uh, the child more responsible life skills is another very good thing and for teachers i would say that this is the time when we not uh, always have to ask and uh, you know address the issue of what they don't know and uh, you know reprimand them for that or be harsh this is the time to ask them what they have learned on their own and compliment them for that their children are very very capable and i think they can learn a lot of things on their own but one thing of course both as uh teachers and as uh, parents we need to be concerned and children themselves beta ek bar aadat pad gayi hai you know in china in europe they are having uh, you know kind of cases of this is this is a different kind of an addiction you know so when they are net addiction is another very very big problem in those countries and they are having clinics where they are de addicting students so please do not get into that kind of a mode where i mean de addicting you from these things becomes uh, difficult so if you have to learn cooking you have to learn you know kind of gardening you have to learn music you have to learn dance maybe you can ask your parents maybe you can talk to a friend it's not always that you have to look up the google thing and uh, then only start uh, doing things the school books is an uh, interesting question deepak ji um uh, we can definitely the book seller is all prepared and we were all set with the with the books and all the only reason you know why we are not delivering the books now is because we fear that the paper may carry the virus you know this is what has been noted in many countries of that of course in our country also i think with some ministers filed the Uh, virus had gone, so it is just that we have to see how do we desanitize, and then the person who is carrying it to your places, you can deliver it through couriers. There was uh, the authorities over here, the deputy commissioner had ordered, uh, and they had listed some uh, number of uh, uh, bookshop bookstores who could do it, but I think they have revoked that uh, permission. can we please have curriculum for the year surely we will we will do that yeah yeah i have noted this problem of uh, not having the printer at home i have the same uh, you know problem i have two children studying in aisha school and i write down all that i have to write and obviously i can't print so that is how we all have to cope up somehow uh request a plan uh, class timings one day in advance let let's see if we can do that surely yeah let them just watch you see please do not stress the child if the child cannot uh, 
uh, reach that level of art or something these are just the goals these are just the end marks that the teacher is you know kind of uh, uh, showing the children to inspire it's not necessary ki har kisi ko artist banna so if they cannot do it let, let them be alone there's no need to stress the children over that i've already answered gupinder about the books the books are available we can perhaps share i'll take the permission from the management and we will pass on the information to uh, the parents uh, of the booksellers who are selling these books we are we use all ncert books by and large i think it is only in uh, english that we are using ratna sagar but otherwise it's all ncert books so they are all available online why do we need to have uh, where is the hurry to buy the books the mina ma'am at least pdf need to be shared i have noted and i'll discuss with you separately good evening everybody mr sharma ashima choudhary jp gupta one hindi class in a week okay why don't you read hindi books at home uh, if you have a lot of hindi books and even on the net you know there is a government has got uh, open library with more than a crore of books why don't you read something from there school assignments right now i don't uh, think we it's feasible to send the school assignment as soon as we are clear on you know kind of safety of sending that we will do that books are available at gulati 20c the uh, books are available in many places if you want i can send the list of the book stores ashu uh, good evening I think we have addressed a lot of uh, questions. Tripti, ma'am, uh, some games can be played sometimes in classes. Yes, good idea. Thank you. Yeah, we are the life skills. If you are interested in, I think we are already Pune ma Banga, ma'am, has uh, invited the children to share. what all the children are doing by the way of life skills at home and we will shortly be making a movie of that or a video of that and you know kind of sending it across to the uh, parents well technology is important but i would say that the human factor is more important will always remain more uh, you know uh, important and this is what was i think my main focus that when we are into this learning the human factor the emotional connect the inspirational part the the softness that the teacher has the individual attention they cannot be ignored and there is no substitute for that uh need to be done by parents only is It is not feasible for parents to pay their entire tuition fee. No, parents are not doing all the work, sir. Uh, Tajali, Arshad, uh, parents are not doing all the work, and you don't know how much the teachers are slogging. And I am really glad to report that uh, not only in my school, I think everywhere the parents are realizing. that they cannot home tutor their children you know you can't be a two children uh, for that long so it is the teachers uh, hard toil which we must respect i think how much they are struggling and we people are all learning on uh, online now to you know to be able to uh, serve the children so one or two classes is not we can provide classes for four hours five hours but that again there are so many issues you must have read it on the board the the health of the children their eyes the availability of the gadget there are two children there are clashes so it is because of this that we are having only two to three classes
ஜூனியர்ட்டிங்ஸ்ட்டேட் Ma'am, what about the fee for the next month and onwards? Uh, well, see, next month, till the school, schools reopen, it is going to be tuition fees only. And uh, Samina ma'am had put, uh, put up this uh, issue that only tuition fees is a legitimate thing and this is what the government is allowing and we are following the government now. I don't know who is this drunken gaming uh, that the teacher's password is not correct. We will ensure this. There must be some confusion with some teacher or with some class. Uh, we will tell them to be more careful. Okay. Yeah. Assignments. Yeah. We will see. We will see your suggestions. uh have been noted and we'll see what all we can do that it automatically changes your name okay let i i'll note this beta how can this be automatically changing your name okay and then we will get back to you okay i think that's okay and that's all thank you very much and thank you ntap thank you nimesha for all the support and uh, all the best for the great work that ntap is doing in the field of education thank you everybody logic oh yeah